Present. All right, this is a call to order for the Raymore Park Board uh, meeting Tuesday, November 24, 2015. Uh, time is now 7 p.m. I need a roll call. Member Cipolla. Present. Member Castleman. Present. Member Seamers. Present. Member Heath. Present. Member Manson. Present. Member Eastwood. Here. Member Howdy Shell. Here. Member Harris. <laughs> Present. Staff uh, Recreation Superintendent McLean and Director Mustaine are present as well. That is roll call. Okay. All right, everyone stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we have uh, no personal appearances. We'll move on to the acceptance of the minutes for the October 27th, 2015 meeting. I move we accept the minutes from the uh, October 27, 2015 meeting. Mr. Harris has made the motion. Who's second? second it. All right, willing to second it. All right, all those in favor of accepting the minutes for the October 27th meeting, raise your hand. Pass. Committee reports. I don't believe we've had a committee meeting in the last month. Yes, Mr. Nelson. We do have the Parks Ground Committee scheduled for December 8th. Since uh, Park Superintendent Rulo is still out on medical leave, we may postpone that meeting to uh, another time unless the board directs us to go ahead and proceed without him. But. I would recommend that we wait until the superintendent's available. All right, that would be uh, subject to the committee chair. If they decide they need to have that, hold that meeting, notification will be, uh, staff will be notified as well as members. And that will fall to uh, Melinda whether or not such a meeting needs to be held. Okay. I'll, Melinda and I will get in touch and, and make that All right. decision. Thank you. All right, staff reports. Uh, we have uh, first up recreation superintendent, Mr. McLean. Thank you, chairman. I will touch briefly on a couple of major topics uh, on my written report that is in your packet. First off, I want to thank all of our staff. They have done a wonderful job of cleaning and preparing for the winter, uh, our concession stands. All three of them have been cleaned and picked up and food brought out. Um, so we're doing that. We always do a good spring cleaning as well after they sit over the winter. But to prepare for the park crew to come in and winterize, our guys did a good job. And, of course, uh, Steve's guys did as well by winterizing and getting everything ready. So I want to thank them. Um, a few of you were at the Veterans Day. I want to give kudos to uh, Jerry Keith, our recreation coordinator, in the part that she had planning of that. She worked with city administrative staff in the preparations of the Veterans Day portion of the depot dedication. So I want to thank her and thank city staff for that event. It was well attended uh, from our aspect. We also have the mayor's Christmas tree lighting next Friday, December 4th. Uh, Jerry Keith is working on that as well. Our coordinator, she uh, puts together that special event. So we invite any of you to come out and attend that one. We've had multiple meetings. We've had other planning and preparing of events and programs uh, getting into the fall. We wind down a lot of the major sports. We are full force into basketball. We're taking futsal registrations. Um, basketball, we just closed. We worked with the school district and Coach Germain, the head basketball coach, the varsity basketball coach, he has his own program, as a lot of you are aware. And we worked with him last year in trying to do a transition. This year, the transition went a little bit 
uh, better, and he worked with transitioning his kids into our rec program, and so they continue to play basketball. His program ends in December, ours picks up in January and goes into the first week of March. So we've gotten those registrations in. We started today uh, dividing up teams and um, placing with coaches, and we've started that process. Coaches meetings next Tuesday. I'll be hosting that and getting the coaches together so we can start scheduling practices. And our South Metro game schedule meeting is uh, shortly thereafter. So that's uh, it in a nutshell, the highlights of what we've been working on here over the last few weeks and what we have coming up over the next couple. So I will entertain any other questions at this time. Any questions? Yes, Michelle. What time does the lighting begin on the 4th? Six o'clock. Six. Thank you. Yes. And that will be where? Right here at City Hall. Thank you. We will have hot cocoa, cookies, Santa Claus. Um, we have a petting zoo. We have the lighting outside, um, other lights, and, uh, and we have some uh, carolers as well. So. In the event of inclement weather? It's a rain or shine event. That okay. one usually is. Last year it was quite chilly, so be prepared. Yes, last year was quite chilly, so. Well, you'd, and the cocoa would be appreciated on that one. Yes. All right. But no other questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, on the parks, um, I'm assuming, uh, Mustine, you're going to cover all that? Yes, sir. I'll, I'll do a brief uh, update on the park side and then my own report. The park staff have uh, done a lot of, of routine fall work. Uh, tree work is a good. This is a good time of year for that. What we did find is the the heavy winds a couple, last couple of weeks downed a lot of limbs and, and trees, especially in the wooded areas along the linear park. So that we've been doing a lot of catch up on tree work. They're doing some last minute outdoor painting. I know the guys have been working on painting the uh, trailhead signs, the wooden the wooden posts for the trailheads, and and just routine stuff. So. We've been uh, trying to catch up, preparing for the, the winter months ahead. As far as my report, um, uh, well, obviously we've also been doing the decorating here for City Hall, the tree lighting, Mayor's Tree and all that stuff, so they've been putting that up. The, uh, as far as my report goes, uh, this is kind of a joint report for October, November. And what hasn't already been said, I know a few of the, the Board members attended the Kansas City Metro Area Directors Banquet last Friday night. And we have um, a lot of projects going on right now, frankly. Uh, we're doing a prepping for the, the upcoming GEO bond. So staff has been working with City Council on uh, a very park heavy agenda for the GEO bond. And it's, it's pretty exciting. We've been working with uh, consultants as far as design of the new city hall annex that will be going right out here off municipal circle which will be our new administrative offices at that point working towards the, uh, selecting a consultant to help design the the proposed activity center at recreation park should that be uh, approved by the voters if that ends up being put on the ballot i should i should state and other things that we've been doing are um, Working on the license plates, the uh, the logos and stuff on the vehicles. We got two more trucks left to go, but I, I put a couple pictures in there of what our what the new logos look like and stuff. It's really pretty sharp. It looks good. I know it's simple and it's not much, but it little things make a big difference sometimes. So those are some things we've been doing. And last but not least, I mentioned in the work session that Park Superintendent Rulo is still out on medical leave. We've got a few more weeks left of rehabilitation for him. And outside of that, I will entertain any questions for what's been going on this past month. Any questions? Yes, Sheldon. Nathan, RFQ on the Park Activity Center, who are the four firms that were selected for architectural engineering services? I can't say yet. Okay. Hasn't been approved officially. Hasn't been approved? Okay. But as soon as it's okay to say, I'll let you know. <clears throat> Any other questions? All right. Thank you, Mr. Weston. All right. There's no old business. New business. I'm going to flip the order on this one. 
on the outdoor resurfacing project acceptance. That's an action item. I move. <laughs> no, I'm flipping it. He said he flipped the order. I move we accept the um, project 15 224 201, the outdoor athletic court resurfacing project. Uh, and recommend the city council the final payment in the amount of $83,700 to McConnell and Associates. Do I have a second? Second. All right, Mr. Eastwood, second it. All right, all those in favor, raise your right hand. Thank you. There wasn't any discussion on it, I know. <laughs> I don't think there was any need on that. I will say the, the project itself went as smooth as any project I've ever seen. Uh, McConnell Associates are fantastic to work with. Be more than happy to work with those guys again. If you haven't seen the courts, recreation, park, tennis, basketball look great. The colors look good. I mean, it just turned out really well. So we're pleased with that, and uh, appreciate this uh, the opportunity to do a project like this. I think it's a big step for us moving forward, doing some of these projects and, and gaining some ground and some traction. So we're excited about it, and uh, we'll move forward with a budget amendment from city council and get these guys paid up. So appreciate that. Thank you. All right, next item. Yeah, Mr. Director, can I ask a question real quick? Yes. Did, did we contact the uh, tennis coach at uh, Great Pack and let him know it was done to have him come out and see it and get any feedback? We did. What do you say? Anything good, positive, indifferent? I let it? him know. I didn't get feedback from I, – I let uh, the athletic director, Tom Cruise, know as well. I sent them an email. I sent them pictures, told them that it was done, completed. And um, I, I'm going with the no news is good news type of scenario because they were excited about it. I know they were. I have my yearly meeting with them in towards the end of January when we set up the, you know, get up for this or set up for the spring uh, sports season. So I'll follow up with them at that time, too. But I didn't hear anything specifically, but they were just ending their season and rec park got done after their season closed so i don't know that he made it back up he just saw the picture so we might wait till spring to really see what has to say okay. all right thank you okay. any other questions all right next item would be park board bylaw revision that's an action item this is on article four board the board section five on removal it currently states a member of the board of directors who's absent from three consecutive regular meetings of the board or six regular meetings of the board in a period of one year shall automatically forfeit his or her position on the board. All one year periods shall date from, the mem uh, from a member of the board of directors date of appointment, which I believe currently is every June. The mayor may with consent of the city council remove a member of the board of directors from misconduct or neglect. The proposed change is that uh, let me see if I have it here is that basically this will be instead of running for one year from the date of appointment it will run as a consecutive year or I should say it will run as a continuous year in other words it won't be for one calendar year at a time uh, it's going to be ongoing. All absences will be counted as an ongoing year. Is that not correct? Right. All right, that's the body of it. The change would be instead of going from a calendar year or basically a one-year, 12-month period, uh, it's going to be continuous, uh, accounting for absence. Do I have a motion? All right, Brian? Yeah, I move we change uh, the Park Board Bylaws Article 4. Uh, board section 5 removal of the park board to replace the line all one year periods shall date from a member of the board of directors date of appointment with quote all one year periods shall be defined as any 12 month period of time I'll Go second ahead. that all right, <clears throat> second discussion all right I'll start 
uh, <clears throat> I've looked at this and gone over it and debated on it and actually I, I feel that we don't need that change. I think it's adequate right now with the fact that we have three apses and one in a row that's sufficient for removal, which more often than not will be the case. And that six, and we're not changing the number, we're just changing the duration of it. And I think year to year it is something that we need to have because we have a number of oversights. First off, we also have the council that can remove any member because we serve at will. And secondly, the uh, chair can also request a possible removal based on uh, conduct or bring that to the attention of the council if they feel that there's a, a problem with attendance on that issue also. So I feel that uh, sometimes you can go too far. You can overregulate or over and make it more difficult to retain people. And I've seen no reason to change it at this time. But that's just my position. Anyone else? Comments? Rather stoic tonight. I'll give my comments. I'm rather indifferent. I figure I, I sort of agree with you, Bill, that it sort of works itself out when we have these issues. Um, but I could go either way. Well, you're going to have to vote one way or the other. <laughs> yes, Michelle. Tell me again how it differs. It's a rolling 12 months, so let's say I miss January. Let's say I miss January. Does my 12 months start from that January? If, if I'm not mistaken, the way this works out, and Brian, you correct me if I'm wrong, your first absence starts the, count, starts the clock. So any time in the next, six, next 12 months, regardless of when your first absence occurred, you know, even if it was six months after your appointment. In that time frame, if you have six absences, six absences or three in a row, you know, you're removed from the board. Whereas now, you go from June to June, and starting in June, the clock starts over again. So you could have had four absences the previous six months, but starting in June, you, uh, it starts over again. It's a wash. In other words, you begin the clock again and now your count starts over. Okay. What that, uh, what it may occur is sometimes people have work schedule conflicts where you may be out for a set period of time. Uh, I know in uh, some personnel in law enforcement when they were working shifts they would flip every 30 days or they may flip every 90 depending on their schedule. So for three months you could have someone absent uh, depending on your work schedule. And then after that there's not a problem for some time so the thing is more often than not I just feel that the three the way it's worded now and the way it's set up set up now in one calendar year three continuous and three continuous by the way does cover the June gap if you miss the May uh, May meeting or and then miss one in June the July meeting even though it's in the beginning of a, set, a new year does count because that's three contiguous that doesn't change but the six in one year would change. All right. Yes, Brian. Yeah, I'll give my opinion because I think it should be a 12 month running calendar because I think anybody who misses six meetings, to be honest, should be disqualified. We only have 11 now, 11 meetings a year. And if you miss six, whether it's June to June or January to January or March to March, wherever the 12 calendar, however we decide this, I. Personally, I think that's the other discussion we need to have is make a recommendation to council to lower that number also because you're missing over half. If, if you're allowed to miss six, I guess at six you're disqualified. You're allowed to miss five. You're missing almost 50% of the meetings. Um, nobody can miss 50% of work. Nobody can miss 50% uh, of school. I, it, to me, it's important work. So I've been doing this for, I don't know how many, seven years. I think I missed one meeting. Um, you know, not to give myself kudos on the back, but um, if somebody has a work schedule that doesn't permit you to do it, then I'm sorry, I think you should be disqualified for doing it. Poor people can't be president because they don't have the money to do it. It's just the way life is, right? Not everybody can be a doctor, not everybody can be a lawyer, not everybody can be a teacher. 
um, they just aren't made out for it, and and it just doesn't work. And I, you know, if if you worked every Monday night, you could be on city council. So it just, I think it's the way it is. Um, and I think there's a way for us to make sure we get dedicated people who can do it. Not that they're not dedicated because they can't make it, but it just it just doesn't work out, I guess. So that's why I brought it forward. Anyone else? All right. We have no further discussion on this. We'll have we'll take it to a vote. All those in favor of this proposed change revision in the uh, the policy and uh, bylaws for removal of a board member, sitting board member, raise your right hand. All those opposed? All right, it's five to three. And that's a pass. Okay. The, uh, the, poll, uh, the motion is passed. Okay. Thank you. I always appreciate the discussion and the involvement. All right, on public comment, well, we have no one in attendance. <coughs> To our viewers out there, anytime you want to attend these meetings, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, board member comment. Do we have it? Yes, Melinda. Okay, so I've been going on attending on Monday evenings, except for last night, um, our city council meeting. And I just want to make sure everybody was clear what's going on because I think it's pretty exciting. I mean, we're actually. And this $10 million, or almost $10 million of a geo bond that's coming up for vote in April, the city council is actually looking to give us almost five of it. So I thought I'd kind of go over, I, the, I got a sheet of paper, it was good as of a week ago, everything changes, so, you know, it may change, but I'll tell you kind of what they're looking at. Um, activity building to replace the park house, 2.8 million is going on that. Um, rec trail rehabilitation, 55. Rec trail parking lot rehab, 54. Hawk Ridge Park parking lot extension, playground ADA um, system, 700,000. So a total going in between those two is 3.6 million. Then they're also talking, um, we've, they've added in the amphitheater and that's 675,000. Water park, skating rink, playground equipment, with a railroad theme, um, 600,000. So um, I was really excited once I really started paying attention and understanding what all you know they were doing and how much was really going into parks. So I kind of thought you guys might want that info because I had no idea. I knew they were going to put some park stuff in there, but I didn't know it was really that much money. So um, just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Um, and then the other thing, I told you this today, but I wanted to make it public my son and a friend went up to go play soccer up and we drive into the parking lot up at rec park and we drive in the parking lot and two 13 year old boys are like oh my gosh they've painted the basketball and tennis courts you know and i'm like that's so fun that they would notice something like that so it looks really sharp it looks nice so i, I love the uh alternating colors on there too so but i like change so <laughs> any other comments Yes, I was going to say we appreciate what the council is doing as far as trying to reinforce and give uh, build up the park system more. It's been uh, something that I know we all would like to see. And uh, yes, it is. And I hope we're going to, and as long as we give good support on this one and uh, make sure that we have everyone vote in a positive manner, we'll probably <laughs> see some uh, big things happening. All right. Now I had my piece. Anybody else? All right. Yes, name. Just a reminder to everybody that uh, we do have can we have canceled the December Park Board meeting. So the next time that we meet officially as a group will be the January meeting, and we will send out notifications for the uh, the uh, committee meetings as they come up, come upon us. So just a reminder, and happy Thanksgiving. All right. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Do I hear a motion for adjournment? 
I move we adjourn. Okay, second. Anybody? Second. Michelle. All right, motion's been uh, seconded. All those in favor of adjournment, raise your hand. Thank you. We're adjourned. <laughs>